Hello, this is Palico Patch, and welcome back to the Curious Expedition. And we've finally, finally made it. We are here. Look, look, down in the corner here. Version 1.0. I'm going to let you into a little secret. I'm actually recording this whilst I still haven't got the internet because of these god damned supposed internet service providers. Service. But that's, that's a different video. Uh, you've seen my rants, no doubt. Or if you haven't, they've been deleted if you're seeing this because I said I'd get rid of them as soon as I got the internet back up. And the only way I can upload is with this. Uh, God bless tethering, that's all I'll say. Thankfully, the update to the Curious Expedition was pretty small. And after my last little rant on my mobile, uh, I had to buy a 10 gigabyte update to allow myself to go on the internet to have it last for 30 days, or else it was 1 gigabyte for seven days which is stupid because I've still got three weeks until I, my bill renews and I can I can access the internet again properly so I thought sod it and I thought at that point no, no I'm not going to put up with this I'm not going to put up with this it's going to be a small update so I tethered my mobile to my computer and I managed to get this update done so it means I can record so I will have stuff to give you as soon as my internet does come back and with that being said let's not bore you anymore let's crack on that's what you're here for Curious Expedition boom version one well done, guys. Congratulations, Johans and Riyadh. Um, all the best. That's all I can say, really. Um, I haven't really checked it out. I haven't had a chance to look at any patch notes or anything. We're going in, well, as blind as someone who's played 70-plus episodes of this game can, can go into it. I'm sure there'll be some new things in there. There's some new writing as well by Luke Openshaw. So I'm, I'm going to be very interested to see how that pans out. Uh, it's uh, It's been a bit of a gripe as far as me reading stuff's concerned it, it gets a little bit samey but you get over that uh, but there were a couple of indiscrepancies where the english didn't flow too well so uh, I, I am really interested to see how that pans out and it does mean that if you have been watching for 70 plus episodes i uh, firstly i i i i, uh, I, I applaud you well done for <laughs> putting up with me for that long but uh, also it means this will be fresh for you so fresh for me fresh for you we're good for another, at least another 30 episodes. We're going to make it to episode 100. I'm confident on that. Uh, so, great. Well, I'll make it. Whether you hang around or not, it's up to you. Up to you. I'm not changing. It's working. It's all good. Anyway, jibber-jabbering. We need to crack on. We've got a new uh, explorer to play with. So, we uh, we got a gold. Gold. We got a gold portrait with Isabella Bird. We did, we did all right. We found the Necronomicon. Opened up good old HP Lovecraft with it. And... We managed to finish first, and we had a little bit of retirement money as well, which was great. Great. We had a few hiccups along the way. There was a, a couple of bumps along the road, but we got there, and it's all good. And as you can see, we are getting a few extra gold portraits now. I'm hoping at some point to get them all gold, but as it stands right now, we're making our way through. We've only got, what, three, four more people to play, and then the challenges. So there's there's room. There's room there for improvement. There, there, there are goals set, and yeah. Let's, let's, let's do this. So, Harriet Tubman. Now, what do we know about Harriet Tubman? As it says there, hero of the Underground Railroad Movement and Union Spy, and has powerful visions in her dreams. So what does that all mean? Well, she was born in 1822. We're not quite sure exactly when, because she was actually born into slavery. And uh, she managed to escape slavery and go off and obviously be a, a, a free woman or a free person. And... She was so driven, she actually came back and rescued 70 friends and family, <laughs> which is ridiculous. She's a Django. She's the female Django. That, that she be, that she be. But she did have, whilst she was a, a child in, uh, in slavery, she had a, a massive heavy object thrown in her direction. I wouldn't say at her. It was actually, from what, I, from what I've read, it was aimed at another slave, but it hit her in the head. And this caused her for the rest of her life to suffer from dizziness and head pain, but also something called hypersomnia. Now, I wasn't sure what this was, so I had to look it up. And what hypersomnia is, is it is a degenerative condition which causes you to always feel sleepy and for when you do sleep, to sleep for a very long amount of time. Or, as most people know it, as being a teenager. But, but yeah, that's something she suffered from throughout her life. But it also says that she was a devout Christian. Can't knock that. But she experienced strange visions. Strange. Strange visions. And uh, which she, she 
put to God talking to her directly. Now, I am not religious. I'm not religious. I like to think myself as a bit of an agnostic. I don't think it's too much to ask for proof of anything, really. You know, I, I'm this type of people. You show me a miracle, and yeah, I'll be there. I'll be with you. I'll be at the front of the queue. But it's it's you know, faith. I know in, in itself as a word. This is going to get really deep. I won't. I'll, I'll skip a, a, above it. But basically, uh, it's a case of I don't think it's asking too much to have a little proof. That's all. With so much crap that goes on in the world you'd expect some sort of divine intervention if there is a god i'm not saying it's christianity you know buddhism muslims whatever but uh i don't think it's a lot to ask for a little bit of proof or you know as i said divine intervention anyway i jibber jabber i jibber jabber we'll get off this because it's going to cause a lot of arguments so yes she has this hypersomnia and she had these visions now i'm not saying that she wasn't seeing god Right, she, I'm not saying she wasn't seeing God, but she had a trauma traumatic head injury. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. She had a traumatic head injury, and she had visions. You know, different sides of the same coin, maybe. That's, that's all I'm going to say. That's all. <laughs> oh, I'm going to cause so much trouble. Anyway, so yeah, so she managed to rescue 70 of her friends and family from where she managed to escape from originally, which is pretty good in itself. And then she ended up hooking up with this underground railroad. Now, again, something which I've, I've sort of heard about, not really known too much about, but it was basically an anti-slavery uh, movement. So that was something which obviously back at the time, which this was before and during the Civil War, uh, when this underground railroad was going ahead. Uh, she, she was obviously involved in that. And because of that, she was on the side of the Union. Makes sense. And she started off as a cook. She then became a nurse. And then, how about this for an absolute turnaround of, of job role? She became an armed scout and spy. You know, you've gone from a cook to a nurse in the same ballpark to an armed scout and spy. She was a ninja. She was a ninja. So, you know, that's quite a jump from home, home care and, and nursing to ninja. To... to, to Civil War ninja, that's what she was. She actually led, and she was the first woman to lead an armed expedition, which was a raid at a place called Combahee Ferry. And she liberated over 700 slaves. Now that is, you know, you, you can't knock that. Tip top, nice woman. And she did, did her part, shall we say. She did her part. So, yeah, she, she was a pretty interesting woman. But after the, the Civil War happened, she went back to look after her elderly parents, who weren't very well and sort of just lived a very quiet life after that she got married a couple of times sadly both her partners died when she had a, a fair few years left in her uh, and she died in 1913 from pneumonia and from what i've read on the wiki they are looking at maybe this year they were, they were looking at putting her her feature onto the 20 dollar bill because she she was uh, quite a quite the forefront of of um, the uh, anti-slavery movement towards the end there so yeah Top, top, top bird. Top bird. <laughs> top bird. So yes, we are playing with Harriet Tubman. Now she starts with a missionary, the spiritual and moral backbone of the trek. One would argue Harriet is the spiritual and uh, uh, moral backbone of the trek, but we won't, we won't go too far into that. Allow, it allows to rest for free in missions, we know about that. She has a native warrior, a fearless warrior, who will protect the group by all means possible. And a good old donkey. Good old donkey. Donkeys can carry many additional crates, you know. Yes, yes. She, she likes a bit of chocolate, so we've got a bit of chocolate with us. We have the torches. Tip top, always useful. We have fireworks there to cause a, a, a diversion if need be, which probably will be. And we have extra bullets, which is awesome. And climbing gear. I'm a, yeah, I'm okay with climbing gear. I prefer rope and, and torches, but I can live with climbing gear. It might help us as far as getting up those hills and discovering the, the area. I'm sure because you all love me so much. I'm sure you've seen my tips and tricks video by now. It's all explained in there. I refer you to that. Anyway, let's crack on. Welcome back to the Explorers Club, dear friend. Have you heard that we are building a statue to honor our most famous member? Pause. Word is that you have a good chance of seeing your likeness on that statue. However, I am afraid to tell you that you are not the only candidate. You and your rivals have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous explorer within our club. 
Alistair Crowley, Isabella Bird, Alexandra David Neal, and Dion Fortune. Now go explore! Adventure awaits, and this is where we get to the difficulty setting. You know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? We're going for certain death. Yes, we have done all we can do in Expedition. Tourist trip, pff, for pansies. Not interested. Certain death. Boom, let's do it. Requires new levels of strategy. Let's see. And it's New Maruno. First Expedition, so we've only got the one place to go to. I am thinking I might get my ass handed to me. As it stands, I haven't played this game for over a month. So we might be a little bit rusty, but slow and steady wins the race. Let's crack on. After a good's not good, we'll start again. That's terrible. I apologise, Mr. Luke Openshaw. I'm sure your writing is great. Let's, let's start again. After a good night's rest, I arrived at the docks. There were still some arrangements to be made, so I saw if there was anything I could do. A rich foreigner named Sir Dai Lamajed introduced himself. He told me that he originated from the area we were heading to before coming to England with a crew. He had, meanwhile, developed a life here and requested that I find his wife in his former village and escort her to London. Well, wow, he's, he's pimped out. Look at him. I'm sure he didn't look like that before. But he's a pimp daddy. He's, he's, got, he's got the the, uh, the feather in the, in the hat, although it's a little bit smaller. Purple coat. That always says pimp to me. And a, a gold staff. A gold-headed staff. Pimp. Pimp. Except. I accepted his request to find and return his wife. He nodded thankfully and wished us luck. My heart jumped with joy as I heard that the ship was ready for departure. Let's go. Boom. Expedition 1. I've got high hopes here. High hopes. And didn't we sail? Wow, we sail from really far out now. Oh, 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 oh. We're there. Okie dokie, come on book. After barely surviving one of the most monstrous thunderstorms I have ever witnessed on a ship, we finally reached the shore of our expedition area. I knew this place held something special for us. Yes, death. Death. And they're off the boat. They're all off the boat. They're ready to rock. They're ready to rock. She's tiny. Look how big the missionary is compared to her. Wow. Jeez. Okay. Uh, right. Nothing to do here but go. So let's go. Thankfully, the well-to-do foreigner had indicated the location of his former village on our map. I was curious to see if we would find his beloved there. Hmm. Let us see. Oh, wow. Well, can't get much closer than that, really, can we? It's a two-region map. It is... The first level, after all. Don't, don't want to be, you know, canned too quickly. It's, that's not good. Uh, oh, we do have a couple of uh, ailments to start with, though. Sister Jerusha. Sounds a bit like Veruca for my liking. She's claustrophobic. Sister Veruca. And K-Bomb. Or K-Bomb. K-Bomb. I like K-Bomb. Uh, you are superstitious. Makes sense. Native warrior. And a donkey. Ms. Jolly. Ms. Jolly. Fantastic. Right. Let's get to this village. Let's get this person on our side let us go forth and multiply we entered the native village the villagers seemed to be some form of religious unity as we approached the village we were immediately approached by a native she introduced herself as what the hell kiwudab or siwudab siwudab and it transpired that she was the wife we were asked to escort back to london without further ado she happily joined our trek and began to show us around the village we were guided into the village by a crowd of cheering kids. Our reputation seemed to be very positive in this region. Awesome. So, ah, so we have a native shaman. Does she take over space now? She probably does, doesn't she? Uh, right, well, we don't need to rest. We don't need to recruit. Let's trade. What have we got? What do you have for me? Jewels. Ooh. Oh, I like that. They put a cross there so you can see if it's going to be good or not. So you know how close you're going to be. Right. Well, fireworks, not... Oh, wow, they like fireworks. Um, let's take a mango. Is that dead on? I, I'm good with that. You like fireworks. I like fruit and riches beyond my wildest dreams. So that seems to be good. That's, that's, that's good. I came to an agreement with the villagers. Awesome. In a heartbreaking ceremony, Siwudab said farewell to her tribe. As we left, she mentioned that she would like to visit a holy shrine in the vicinity to receive a blessing for her travels. She marked the location of the shrine on our map. Fine. Wow, you don't want to travel too far, do you? Okay, well, we don't have anything else that we can see. It would appear we have... Oh, naughty. Naughty. Oh, well, that's killed. Oh, dear. Well, that's killed my, my tips video straight away. It doesn't tell you how many 
areas are left to explore in the region. Rubbish. Okay, never mind. We shall persevere. Alright, so we have two. Two we can see. It looks like it's quite mountainous down below, so we're not too fussed about going that far. Let's uh, crack onto this one. Ah. I inspected the mysterious, more than three metre high granite sculpture. The grotesque face seemed to look right at us. Its presence made me uncomfortable, and I desired to move on. I noticed a few items by the statue, which must have been put there by the natives of this region. They were surely sacrificial offerings. Mm. Ah, bongos. Yes. And blue mushrooms. Blue mushrooms. Uh, right. We took what we could use from the apparent sacrificial offerings, which is everything. All right, on to the next. So, 31 if we go into the swamp. So, we'll go around. We might be able to cover a little bit more around there. And we have a shaman. Do we want to upgrade anybody? What do you do? You reduce the chance of triggering combat and you increase our maximum sanity. That is useful. Can't argue with that. Boom. Oh, it gave us a bit of sanity back as well. Awesome. A handsome reward. Indeed. Uh, but we don't have a lot of sanity left. Let's, let's enter the hut. We entered a peculiar looking hut. The place smelled of old dank wood with all sorts of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the walls. A native shaman approached us with a wide, uh, wild, wild eyed stare as he chewed on some leaves. Mm, druggy. Uh, the shaman was willing to offer his services but demanded remuneration. That's a big word. Remuneration up front. What the hell? He promised after the, his ritual the patient would be cured of all sorts of mental demons. What do you. Oh, you've got quite a lot. What do you have? You have treasure map. You have tone page of Springs creation. Uh, target. Oh, that's interesting. Tone page of targeted teleportation. That's that's good. Tone page of home band. A page that was ripped from ancient tome. That's oh. That's that's really interesting. A tone page of home bound. An abomination. We know that. Um, I like targeted teleportation because obviously you'd be able to choose where you want to go. Tone page of home bound. Oh, mm, that's good. how much is that worth? That's worth. Ooh, it's expensive. Um, okay, what are climbing, what, well, what is climbing gear worth? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm happy to give up four of those for that and the, and the cleansing. Um, we can, yeah, we can get rid of affliction with that as well though, can't we? So can we give you firework for that? No. Do you want an, another climbing gear? Yeah, that's, that's a good deal. So we'll get the one person clean. We'll clean the other person ourselves with the mushroom and we get the tone page of homebound, whatever that may be. So that's good. The shaman snatched, oh rude, snatched the offered goods and then beckoned the afflicted to lie on the ground before him. So we'll clean up, uh, why would we clean up you who are going to leave us? Uh, so we'll clean up Sister Jerusha. The shaman began chanting. He seemed to be in commune with the other side. After a short while he calmed down and we helped Sister Jerusha to her feet. Awesome. Let's leave. And let's use up this green mushroom. We assembled camp to better consume the mushrooms. And then we shall give it to... No, not so adapt to... Key bomb. Boom. Key bomb ate the mushroom with great courage. She fell into some sort of trance for several hours. Afterwards, she was a better person. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, so that'd be it. Uh, but there is absolutely now... Well played, Mashing and Mench. There's absolutely no way to check what is left in this region without actually going to look for yourself. Ah. Okay, well, we'll just have to get around here initially. How far can we go for 25, 26, 27? Let's, let's come up to here, north of this hill. We'll get up the hill. 23. So let's eat a couple of chocolates. 27 up the hill. Ah, you see, it was worth checking. It was worth checking. Uh, that's a dead area as far as I'm concerned. There's no chance of that. We've got mosquitoes. Uh, and we've got, we can get some uh, butterflies as well. Let's... We're going to have to travel out. Let's eat the mushroom. Just to extend that a bit further. 
there we go so I would have to say as an educated guess goes that that is probably going to be our pyramid we're definitely not going to have enough sanity to get there in one foul swoop we can only hope that this is going to be something which is going to allow us some sort of sanity gain 24 we'll just eat the one the empire for a bar of chocolate which empire the Amer is the american clusters an empire america oh, i don't know sure i would have thought so back then Ooh, a ship we found something highly unusual a decayed shipwreck laid in front of us it looked like an old pirate ship it seemed to be stranded here for a long time I made an effort to, dis to decipher the name. The Black Rock. Search area. I was confident we would find something valuable here. I instructed the people to form small teams and investigate the surroundings. When comes that rug, poe, kakuku, pokupka. You are one weird person. Ah, so, yes. Uh, they, will they will both help. They will both help. I like dynamite. Dynamite's good. I don't even know what dice we've got. We've got an attack and utility. Defense, attack, and uh, magic -y style which we won't be keeping uh right so we can eat the last chocolate it's not going to make a lot of difference in all fairness i think we're going to be pretty much scuppered here even if we were to take out the hyena we're still going to suffer as far as sanity's concerned because we don't have a cook and we don't have a soldier to gain sanity off that so we're just gonna to have to leg it and hope for the best i don't really want to teleport out if i can help it so let's try that we'll see. We'll see how far we get. 34, 54, 54. That'll do. Here goes nothing. And here goes everything. The ongoing physical stress room numbed our senses. I know that. The ongoing physical stress numbed our senses and led to a negligent pathfinding. Key Bomb stepped into a spear trap. It looked freshly placed. The spears were coated with dark muck. The wound was surely infected. Oh, dear and you're bleeding oh dear two well we're just gonna have to wing it still there's not a lot more i can do uh we've managed to avoid the wrath of the hyena it would appear oh we found oh it's the shrine we were looking for tonight i dreamed of a place oh so that that was her thing she she dreams important locations like how the hell we're going to get out of here because we're about to die so that's good that's good uh, taking my own advice, we will... No, we won't. We'll examine the shrine. Screw it. We arrived at a long-forgotten shrine. All manner of plant life grew towards the sun. The portal led inside emitted an eerie chill. I could swear I heard the sound of rushing water below the earth here. Ah. Enter the shrine. We arrived at what seemed to be the treasure chamber. If this place held any riches, I knew we would find them here. I held my breath as we discovered an ancient altar in its centre. Uh. God, we shall take all the gold. This was not a day for hesitation. The treasure was ours for the taking. We grabbed the treasure and hurried outside as enormous fountains of water burst through the ground and began to flood the surrounding area. We had to run for our lives depend We had to run like our lives depending upon it or drown in the grand lake forming around us. That's what I meant to say. So it's starting there. I can only go north. This oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, 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 okay. Um, if I go there in one go, that's going to flood. And then if I move to there, that's going to flood there. So I need to go, I need, I need to catch the mosquitoes. That's it. This is it. Do or die. Run. Why have you stopped? Why have you stopped? I had already withdrawn myself when I was awoken by a loud gunshot. I immediately ran to aid Sirudab against an attack, but to my horror I found her dead on the ground, killed through my own gun. I was unwilling to think too deeply about what had occurred here. I dug a grave till dawn, and then buried her. The pimp is going to be so unhappy. He's going to get the pimp powder out on me and give me a good slapping. Oh dear. Keep on cracking. Let's go. We can do this. Come on. Let's just get there. Let's just get there now. I'm done. I'm done. The pyramid of gold beckoned us to victory. Resourcefulness begets success. <laughs> yeah, something like that. My comprehension is but a fraction of all I want to understand. Hmm. Okay, enter the pyramid. Now it was time to return to the ship. Oh, we got some Santi. Why? What's the point of gaining Santi at that point? Tell me. 
Oh no, because I'm going to get back to the ship. Oh dear. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, we're still being chased, so we we found the pyramid. That's fine. We've got lots of gold and jewels and stuff. I think we should use this homebound. We should we we should test out this now uh, because apparently you've got to get your own way back, and uh, I can't do that. I've got no sanity. Well, I've got a little bit of sanity. I haven't got enough to get me to where I want to go though. Oh, is this because I'm overburdened? Oh, because we lost the player, didn't we? So what do we have? Two, three, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and, and the donkey. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, crap. Well, I'm not giving up my gold. I'm not giving up any resources. So I guess we're going to do the turn page of Homebound. Boom! Back to the ship. That's what we needed. Awesome. Love that. Great. Great. <laughs> we return to our ship. I pause to appreciate the beauty of our vessel. Uh, let's uh, let's sail home victoriously. <laughs> our expedition had been a true success. I judged on what we had gained versus what we had lost. Our vessel set a course for home. I could not wait to get back home and talk about what we had found here. After such an endeavour, great joy overcame me. I knew this name, Harriet Tubman, would be synonymous with victory. Fortune and glory and dead wives. <laughs> uh, let's speed this bit up. So, we found the Golden Period. We were back first. Couldn't have gone much better. Well, it could have, but at least we survived. Awesome. Yeah! Yeah. Triumph. Triumph. Alright, so... What perk are we going to go for? We can choose from Desert Explorer, reduce movement costs in deserts. We can choose Eagle Eye, increase viewing distance. Very good. And we can go for Climate, reduce move, movement costs when crossing hills. For me, it's always Eagle Eye. Love that perk. Huzzah. Huzzah. So, we are third. A close third, mind. We are, what, three? Three points behind? That's fine. I can live with that. We'll gift the butterflies. We're going to need some monies. That's the only thing. So uh, we shall sell the jewels. We shall... Uh, it's a shame. Oh, here we go. Ah, it tells us now. Awesome. So the funds are 40 on that. The funds are 40 on that. So it's not going to make much difference. Arguably, because I'm in second place, though, it'd probably make more sense to sell these and get the funds and then go out next time with at least a lot of food, which is what we need. So that'll do, that'll do. And next time, we can choose from the older jungle or the opulent, opulent, drylands. Like the name, don't like drylands. Old, yeah, okay, we, we can discuss this next time. We'll leave it there. <laughs> Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated, and I'll catch you on the next one. And I'd just like to say, at the end of this, Thank you for holding on for me. It's been a really turbulent six weeks with getting this internet back up and running and moving. And I'm hoping to be able to push this channel forward now. So I appreciate you guys holding on and hopefully making it to the end of this video. Thank you very much. Don't know what else to say. I'm not going to get blubbery. I'm not going to get blubbery. I just appreciate you guys holding on. And welcome to the new guys as well. Hello. Hello. Thank you for watching. Take it easy. Catch you on the next one.